Welcome to this module on document cognition. A lot of business data is usually found in documents stored in various formats across different systems. The Yellow AI platform offers a way to parse these documents and make sense of the content using the natural language processing engine operating under the hood. Furthermore, the platform helps bots understand the contents so that they can use them to answer user queries. Let us see how this works. In the Studio section, click on Document Cognition. Here, we can upload all relevant documents which form the knowledge base for our business. Click on Upload Document. We can upload the documents from our local machine, a URL, by connecting to an AWS S3 bucket or a SharePoint URL. Watch our other videos on how to fetch documents from AWS or SharePoint. In order to upload the documents from the local machine, click on your computer and then click on Upload File. Locate the relevant document. The different formats supported are Word, PDF, PPT, and Text. Enable the Generate Q&A and Table Parsing checkboxes. Once the document is uploaded, we can click on the Add button. We will get a notification that the document has been successfully uploaded. A record will be added on this page with the document name and the status against this record will be indexing. This indicates that the platform is currently using a reverse engineering technique to parse the documents. Instead of the traditional way of writing questions and generating the answers for them, the platform scans the document and extracts all sections of the document, which can be regarded as meaningful answers. After this step, the platform generates all the possible question variations which can be asked by the user for which these answers can be returned. Once this parsing is completed, the new status will reflect in the page. We see that the status of this indexed document has changed to completed. We have an option to preview the document on this page. This is a PDF document containing details of a product in the form of text and images. Let us click on the Document Q&A tab. We will find the parsed document listed under the file names. We can expand this listing and find a set of questions listed. Clicking on each question would take us to the question variations in the next column. The answer to these questions from the document is listed in the next column. Now we can choose to either let the bot respond to these document searches by adding these questions as FAQs or by enabling the document search in the conversation flow. Let us see how to add these questions to FAQs. Select one or more of these questions and click on Add FAQ. Select a category under which we can house these FAQs. Click on Create and the FAQs would be added under this category. On visiting the FAQ section, we see that the questions which are added from the Document Cognition section are listed. Now we can train these bots on these questions and responses. Let us go to the Overview section and try the bot. If the user utterance matches an FAQ that the bot is trained on, the relevant response is returned. This is one way for the bot to answer user queries by scanning documents. In scenarios where the bot does not understand a user utterance, we can choose to trigger a document search as a fallback response. In the conversation flow, click on Document Search and enable the Actions toggle. If a user utterance matches any of the parsed questions or question variations, the corresponding answer will be returned as a bot response even if the bot is not trained on these questions. The user will see the answer displayed in the bot window. The user will also be shown a couple of options to preview or open the document where the answer was found. On clicking open, the user is taken right to the section in the document where the response is found. The user can also pass on a feedback in the bot window. Any other documents where the result is found will also be shown. We can also adjust the settings for the document search action after enabling it. Click on Document Search button in the conversation flow and click on Settings. We can configure the total number of records that can be displayed to the user and also the number of records from each document that can be displayed. We can also configure a text response to be displayed initially when a match is found in the documents. Documents in the platform can also be tagged with a key value mapping that can be used as a search filter. In the Document Cognition section, click on Edit Tags against the document record. Now we can add a tag here as a key value pair. Click on Save. 
Now these tags can be added as metadata filters in the document search action in the conversation flow. We can also use the document search action within our bot journeys. Watch our video on the document search action node to know more. These are the different ways in which the document cognition section can be used to enable the bot to search through the documents and use their content to answer user queries. Thanks for watching.